Hello, and welcome back. As I have promised, I am going to give you a little bit about my alarm clock alpha. So, right now there are only four files, and that's all that are in the alpha. Last time used, don't edit this if you want to be able to use the last time used function. This stores the last time you used is a number in there, and then when you want to run the alarm clock again, you can store it. Now, if you want to hear the alarm sound, listen for the next five seconds after I finish talking. If you don't, I'd advise muting your sound until you see VLC me up there close, starting now. That sound will loop infinitely, being run by alarm.batch. Now, again, if you want to hear the alarm sound, listen. If you don't, mute your sound, because it's loud. So, what it does is it opens up this. Now the batch file is continually starting that. In order to close the alarm clock, you must close the batch file. Then, your media player might spaz out and play a couple more. But once it stops, close media player out, and you've exited the alarm clock. Alarmclock.batch, when you launch that, it says to continue. First, set your volume to max so that you can hear it go off. Second, set your brightness all the way down so that the screen does not keep you awake because you have to leave your computer on. Now, once you have done these, you type yes. Now, it doesn't check to make sure you have because I don't believe there is a way to check volume and brightness through a batch file. If there is, please tell me. I've been searching many websites and I can't find anything. So, the next screen is this. Choose a time for the alarm to go off. If you hit if you enter default, the default time, 6.30 will be set. Enter time. Well, this comes in effect in the next step for custom time. So, let's say we do a custom time. We'll do 2. Enter the hour. Let's say 4.10 is when we want it to go off. 10. So now you see it's kind of spazzing out here. And the title now says alarm is to go off at 410. This spazzing out is good because then that shows that it's infinitely looping in a home area. So I could be opening this in Notepad++, but I've got all too, too much crap open in it right now. And I'm being this way up. Thank you. Okay, so now. Now, how this starts is I just set the title, color, echo off, and to clear the screen. If you don't like the color, please feel free to change it. Don't change anything else, though. Now, in order to make sure you've only entered yes, this little thing here does that. So set input equal to blank, then I showed you in this last video. Set input equal to percent equals sign percent, which is asking for the input. Then I have all of these if then commands, which I will explain in a future video probably next weekend. So I'll explain that. But these make sure you've only entered yes, and if you enter all lowercase yes, it'll accept it. All capital, it'll accept any form of yes, as long as it's Y E S. If you didn't enter yes, it will automatically clear the screen and then echo sorry invalid input and send you back to home, and you'll have all of this come back up. Now, once you succeed in entering yes, it'll go to setting, which is here, it'll clear the screen. Then, then it'll change the title to Alarm Clock Launched. Now set your personal settings. So here you'll read that. And then if time set, set time set equal to blank. And then 
set it to equal percent equal then you enter one two or three for these here so I've got default custom and last used now if time set equals or does not equal one then go to air level two air level two is right here it'll tell you to go settings where you'll just set the title again and then echo all this with the sorry and god input Then default. Default is actually 610, but I'm not going to change that. Because if you go in here, you can change these. You're going to have to mess around and get the right spacing in the, in the um, thing because the way that the batch file is accepting it is kind of screwy right now. So yeah. If you want to do a direct set, I forgot to say this, you can just do this right here. So if you were watching the last video, the about set command, from, just take note that you can do this and this space is part of the value now. Now, once that does that, it'll go to at, which I will show you later in this video. Then custom, it will clear the screen and then custom out. Set enter the hour. Now here is a little if command clump making sure you only entered 0, 1 through 9. This is something I've been trying to let's not. Now as you know there are probably Stupid notepad. Okay, yeah. I just did that for no reason. Stupid touchpad. As you can tell, I have a crappy laptop. Because I'm too lazy to go to my desktop computer. And I also don't have a screen recorder on my desktop computer, so yeah. So it'll set all this up, it'll make sure everything's right. Right now there's a bug, you can't enter, th enter anything under 10, except for the hour. You can't enter any minute under it. So if you don't enter the right number, it'll go to air level, hour, which is down. Air level, hour, sorry, invalid hour, and it'll go back before that and you'll do it again. Custom minute, enter the minute, it'll go through all this. I need to fix that. Then it'll do that. So custom set. That is the last time used. So now this is setting the last time used. So once it does this, it'll go down here, set the custom time equal to C hour, C minute. Set alarm time equal to C time, which is what will be used to set the alarm. Then echo C time to last time used dot text. Then it will go to at. There's one last thing here. Then there's ah I keep forgetting. Then set if you ever want to set a variable equal to a text file and its contents, you do set slash p variable name equal carrot that's pointing to the equal sign space file name and that will echo everything to that then it'll tell you what the last time used was is that all right yes and no's if you say no it'll say you have to climb last used and it'll take you back up if you don't enter it if you if it's not equal if you enter an invalid input, it'll go before this. So then, last use level one will it'll go from here to here. So it'll set the alarm time equal to C time, which was set up here. So now the alarm time here, what it does is it 
First, it clears the screen, sets the style to alarm clock. It's running alarm is to go off at the alarm time. Now, here, it'll actually replace the variable, and but when we're editing it, we see that. Then I have two four commands that I found on a website. I will try to learn how these work. But they're what I believe they're doing is they're extracting variables out of this variable. So percent percent a in time to set hour to percent percent a. So that would be setting the hour and the minute. So then I'll be able to set the current time to a variable. Then it'll echo the current time, then echo the alarm time, then check if the current time equals the alarm time. Go to alarm starting. If not, go to at. So it'll loop infinitely in this small group here until this equals to this. Then it'll echo alarm starting, which is just something dorky that you'll never see. And then I'll start in the alarm clock dot batch. Or alarm dot batch. So I'm not gonna say anything. So thank you for watching, and I have one last thing. Download this epic alarm clock with this. Yeah, that's not even part of the alarm clock. It's just something I threw together in five seconds in word art. But word art is fun to screw around with. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.